This is just a first step, but it's a really important step, and it's a sea change in the thinking on enlargement from before the Ukraine war. I mean, before the war broke out, there was really no talk about Ukraine being given candidacy status anytime soon or ever for a lot of people. But the war really changed the thinking here. President Zelensky was asking for this fast-track EU membership uh, right from the start of the war. No such thing exists. However, uh, the European Commission gave that recommendation last week for Ukraine to be given candidate status just about 100 days after Ukraine put in its application. That is unprecedented speed for that analysis. Usually that process can take years. Uh, so that application was made made simultaneously by Ukraine, Moldova and Georgia. Last week, the Commission recommended candidacy status for Moldova and Ukraine, uh, but not for Georgia. Uh, and just the day before, the leaders of Germany, France and Italy during a visit to Kyiv endorsed Ukraine being given immediate candidate status. And that was really the sea change. A lot of Western European governments are uncomfortable with this. They're worried that this is being done just for geopolitical signaling and not with a realistic assessment of Ukraine's possibility to join the EU eventually in mind. They're still kind of stung by the experience with Turkey, where candidacy status was granted more than two decades ago, largely for geopolitical signaling reasons uh, and overcoming a lot of reservations from Paris and Berlin, that candidacy status has really languished. There's really no possibility of Turkey joining the EU probably ever, uh, and yet the candidacy status is still open. So there were a lot of reservations still, but once Germany and France signed up, the smaller Western European countries got on board, and we are pretty sure that this vote is going to take place today, starting a process that will still take many years.